Welcome back to The Buzz. I'm your host, Jessica Cohn, better known as V Montamer in the gaming community. And today we have a really special guest on our show today from the Jax Smash community. Welcome to our show, Mark. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. All right. So um, tell the audience a little bit about yourself and what Jax Smash is all about. So my name is Mark. I'm just basically a regular college guy, but one day I just got sucked into Super Smash Bros, the competitive scene. So I was playing the game my whole life, but then when you find out about the competitive scene, it's a whole new world, uh, and you get to dive into just the whole entire universe uh, that we call esports. Okay, so for, um, yeah, no, esports is a really big thing, and we talk about it a lot on the show. And um, so for audience that may not be familiar with esports, mm -hmm. you want to try to explain like um, the basics of esports mm -hmm. and how it's um, come to evolve over time. Yeah, esports is becoming a multi-billion dollar industry. It grows every year, really every month. Um, and it's just electronic sports, like uh, video, competitive video gaming. Yeah, and it just spans, like it's a very broad term, just like regular sports, and it just covers everything from like computer gaming to console gaming, fighting games, com like just everything. So um, how do you think, um, your title actually is uh, TO, which stands for mm -hmm. Tournament Organizer, or some people say Tournament Operator. Mm -hmm. uh, which one do? Tournament organizer. organizer, I prefer, so yeah. Is there, you prefer, yeah. yeah. So, um, so for, with TOs, like, what exactly is your role and what all goes into organizing a tournament for the community and how do you, how do you actually set the tournaments up and mm -hmm. um, have you know people come out and participate and what benefit does that have to the community in your opinion? It's a loaded question. So when you're making an event, it's there's a lot of things that go into it. The first thing, obviously, you need a venue. You got to have a place to have the tournament. So a lot of people sometimes they just started out of their apartment, out of their house. Uh, uh, a lot of times it's in a card shop or a video game store. Locally, we have a video game store called Video Game Rescue. I work there. And it just worked out that that's how I ended up being able to have tournaments there. But sometimes you got to go bigger. People get hotel ballrooms, convention centers, things like that. You got to have the right people. You know, you got to have people that can help you run the brackets, take the signups, all the money, run the streams, because you know, the tournament's not legit if it's not streamed nowadays. So it's uh, interesting that you say that. So um, esports actually is opening up a whole door for mm -hmm. a lot of people. So mm -hmm. you know, you're used to older folks saying, "Hey, there's no money in video games," but mm -hmm. that's kind of wrong nowadays because yeah. you have people making money off of video games. Again, like the game that y'all are most. Um, you know, um, active with Super Smash Brothers was just on ESPN, mm -hmm. uh, streamed live, yeah. and and Disney yeah. XD. And um, you know, there's a lot of money to be found in playing video games because a lot goes into the production. So you have people that stream, you have people that make the graphics, you have people that do the commentating, people that set up the tournaments like you. So you don't have to be like a top player mm -hmm. to have a place. Yeah in the competitive gaming scene, which is beautiful because that opens up so many job and career opportunities for people. So thank you for providing, you know, um, the venue and the events because you inspire a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And there's always gonna be overlap with people that play video games. So yeah. now I'm pretty sure that you've noticed that because they're gonna wanna know how the games are made. They're gonna wanna know how they can get involved. And so um, how do you think you've impacted the community with Jack Smash? When I came onto the scene, it was like a weird time because Melee was starting to grow, which is a game that came out in 2001. So that's a game that people are still playing this many years later, mm -hmm. having 2,000 entrants at a tournament. It's Melee's crazy. Melee's never going to die. Yeah, it's unheard of. It's great. <laughs> and Brawl was starting to die. So the, the crowd that cared about Brawl back in like 2008 to like 2012 was starting to die down because the new game was coming out in 2014. So I joined the scene right before that new game, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U came out. And that game blew up. That really threw Smash into esports, and it just built a scene in Jacksonville. Without that game, I don't know how many like people would still be playing Smash. Yeah, no, definitely. So, um, yeah, you took advantage of the situation, kind of took the bull by the horns, and yeah. steered him in the right direction. So, tell the audience a little bit how they can get involved with Jack Smash and the events that you throw, and where you can be found on social media and such. Um, it's the best place is still Facebook groups, I think. And okay, you can what's your Facebook? You can join the Facebook group. It's called Jacksonville Smash Community. If you actually go to jacksmash.com, it'll redirect you right to the group. Okay. So yeah. It, yeah, yeah, that's great. And you throw weekly tournaments mm -hmm. at Video every, Game Rescue every Thursday video, night. Okay, at Video Game Rescue every Thursday. And mm -hmm. you also do monthlies every 
not every not month. Not every month. But <laughs> yeah, kind of sporadically. Kind of sporad okay, yeah. so yeah, so they will have a way to participate. But yeah, yeah, just, yeah, go follow Jack Smash and, you know, follow him. The events are great. I've been, and it's just, it's so interactive. And, um, no, you really enjoy yourself. It's a great community. So, um, Mark, thank you so much for being on our show. And, um, you know, keep doing what you're doing for the community. You're opening so many doors for so many people. So, you know, to have a chance to be themselves and to find what they want to do in life. And it all revolves around video games. So that means a lot. Thank yes. you for having me. No, no problem at all. Thank you so much for being on the show. So that wraps up this segment of Buzz TV. This is V Montamer checking out.